Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday, the 28th of February, last trading day of the month, we'll be looking at the monthly charts. Let me just show you this briefly. We've got the one minute E mini <clears throat> June contract made a peak D. It's starting to pull back just a little bit at 53.12. It's a leg E in the five minute chart and a leg E in the 10 minute chart. And in all cases, <clears throat> the nine period moving average is over the 14. So I just want to mention that just because I every every once in a while I get uh, people asking me exactly what the notations are. So what I want you to do right now, since it's the end of the month, and I think it's quite appropriate to just go through all the different charts that are really important um, as we are to six hours, just less than six hours away from the close of March. So the Dow monthly chart has a leg C. In the Chapman wave methodology, I'll just show you this briefly for those of you who are new to my work. Uh, in the Chapman wave methodology, you try to identify the lowest low bar, count each successively higher peak, alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so there's never an H, so there, <clears throat> so there are seven higher peaks. Most importantly, it's that fourth highest peak at peak D, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, that uppercase uh, D, where other things can happen. That's where you can get a much sharper pullback. That's where you can have a Chapman wave instant restart within three bars. If it makes a new high, you start to count at E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and invariably, G slash Cs go to Ds. Uh, where, what was it? Uh, I thought I'd show you one this morning, which seemed appropriate. And, and let me just, let me see. Oh, yes. I think it was RIG. R-I-G. Uh, RIG is Transocean Limited Offshore Drilling Oil. <clears throat> so it, it did everything we were looking for. Um, it made this cup formation. It wasn't a, I, I have cup formations that are really different to the usual cup formations in the sense that I don't have to go to the, the high that on the left side. I go to other highs and I treat them as the next level up that would be of, of importance. So I, ch I used this one at about 590. And it pulled back to the 440s and it starts moving up. Had a jump wave inside wedge target resistance line. Had a left side, right side price time match, which was lopsided because the uh, low was much later on. So I'd be using this as, as an example. And... Uh, I should mention we are actually long in the 580s, 5.80s, and it's trading now at 634. I just mentioned that. But most importantly, I wanted to show you at that peak D with the technical so strong, I had an instant restart because look, one, two, three bars later, it broke to the upside. So that meant the next peak was an E slash A, then an F slash B, then I typed in a G slash C. It also made exactly to what we were looking at, um, the inside wedge target repellent line kept using that as resistance. And um, it held nicely. And then it broke above and went to this GSC. And today just popped up and made a D at 6.43. And it probably is going to pull back a little bit now because the second D is always where you, you've got to be a little careful. But uh, yeah, that's nice. But interesting enough, I want to also show you uh, wave the wave um, from one time sequence to another. And look at this, that entire move up from the low of, let me just type that in there, I think, uh, on the 20th of February, so this is a month, right? 20th of February at 4.45, 4.45 on 2 to um, Look what happened. It had a very nice move up with, uh, with this is now eight peaks. Well, we, this is the ninth. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty
five, six, seven. This is the eighth leg. It isn't a peak yet until there's a lower high bar. And this is still only an A in the weekly chart. So this is saying to me that something's going on. The monthly chart still needs a lot of work. Yeah, the nine period moving average did pull back sharply, but never went pink in the monthly chart. And it's still green. And usually what happens, if it survives a big move down like this, you've got quite a bit more upside to go. But in the weekly chart, you haven't yet had the nine period moving average cross positive. So it's a work in progress, but it's sharply over the 200 period moving average. The MACD has turned up. The stochastic is rallying at 53%. It's not great, but it's rallying. On balance volume has been very strong. That means volume has been coming in. So this is only an A. Will it go to a B and then a C? Because the obligation of a Chapman Wave buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode is to go from a, a trough that starts peak A and B to all the way to a D, at least a D. So if that's the case, and we haven't got confirmation yet because we haven't got the uh, nine period moving average crossing positive in the weekly chart, this is an A. Can it go all the way to Peak A, next week maybe it doesn't make a new high, then the next week it does, and then it becomes a leg B. Does it go all the way for another five or six weeks, every week making a new peak, um, and goes to a D? I don't know, but all I'm saying is that this is looking quite good, and it's the oil service sector, and we've seen crude oil moving very steadily to the upside. Nothing, it hasn't broken out yet, um, right here. Hasn't broken out. It's acting very well. Um, let's get this. Yeah, there's a, already a very quick from the low that was made back in November of 2023. Let me check where it is. November the week of the 15th at 67.22. The continuous contract goes peak A, peak B, peak C, and a, another within a couple of bars. It makes the new peak. And that just says mm, you've got to be a little careful because you might have some kind of a pullback because of the speed of the, the higher highs. But actually, the price going to a D, look how long, look how beautiful that trough in early 2022, somewhere around May, went from the 64s all the way to the 94s. That's a, that's a move to D. This is a very quick one, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And yet it hasn't really gone far. So that just says to me, crude oil is steadily moving higher. If you look at the weekly chart, until it breaks to a new recovery high and gets into the 98s, <laughs> that's a long way to go. Um, this is just a, really a bounce. So putting the two together, crude oil is going higher steadily. Therefore, the oil service stocks, let's look at ExxonMobil, Exxon, ExxonMobil, right there. There we go, ExxonMobil trading up uh, 38 cents at 115.38. I haven't even updated this. This is an, because that's an instant restart. Didn't even put that in. Isn't that silly? I always do that. Yeah. Instant restart. This could still go to a D, and therefore this is E slash A, F slash B, and then a G slash C. And, and I've made this like a Chapway methodology rule that when you get an instant restart that takes you to a G slash C, almost always, not every time, but almost always, it goes to a D. Then you've got to be a bit careful. So here we are, we're in D in Axel Mobile, and this is only a leg B up in the um, weekly chart. Monthly chart is quite nice as well. I'll be back. That was the chapter. That was down four. SMB's up two. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back and I had a couple of questions. I'm going to get to them. And if anyone uh, uh, emailed me at basiltemp.tfnn.com with a question, I'm sorry, I just, for some reason, uh, I'm having some problem there. So let's just do this. Uh, to show you what I'm looking at. So for the month, if today we go to 39,889.05, one penny higher, that starts your leg D in the, in the daily chart and it extends leg C so that you have to wait all of next week to make a peak C with a lower high. It means immediately on, mon on Monday, yeah, because tomorrow's a holiday, and Good Friday to everyone, you, you've, got to, uh, you've got to see um, an immediate pullback, Sunday night into Monday, all right? The monthly chart leg C. So we've got to see the nine period over the 14. The weekly chart is still very strong. We haven't even taken out the uh, up-channel uh, support line. The stochastic starting to pull back, but still at 85%. The MACD is still good. Uh, let's go to the uh, daily chart. Just starting to see some weakness in some of the indicators, but that nine is still. Look at this. I'm going to move you over to this chart right here. Uh, this is the uh, is the Dow. Look, there's a little double top forming. The unbalanced volume is starting to weaken. That's just a hint to say you got to be a little careful. But look at this. The nine is still. I moved to that chart. It's easier to see. The nine is still way over the 14. So I'm suspecting that until you get to about the 38,600 level, you're not going to see that green nine period moving average turn down. So this is what I call a work in progress. And as I say, for a long term, we've we've got our long term positions not touching them. Just on a very short term, uh, we did go. We did go to a short, a small short position. And uh, that was wrong. I typed that in by mistake because there was a question in the den about ION, IONQ, which is Ionic, I believe. So this is trading at uh, 6.70 up 14 cents. And uh, the question was, what, what would happen to get it ready going to the upside strongly? Yes, it's forming a little cluster formation right here. Let me just go to the actual chart itself for the daily, weekly, monthly. IONQ. And um, 
the nine period moving average is still very weak. I, I say that it has to get above a ten point. Um, yeah, I think 45. I say 10.45 in the next next week at any point, and then it has to hold in that area for at least two days, and then I think you can start to tackle this already ugly candle of the 11th of um, March, which is 10.77 high, 9.77 low. But I, at this point, I think it's just a work in progress. The 200 period moving average is under it for the last four weeks weekly chart. Uh, the nine is way under the four. Ah, there's a lot of work to be done, and 10.31 is the 200 period moving average uh, thing. So, unless it's news related, that's different altogether. Because if Ionix is able to, um, typed in the wrong thing, I O N X, I I I O N Q is, is a symbol. Um, unless it's able to do that, but most importantly, it's been holding the nines as support, and that's great. Okay, let me get on with this because this is going to be, for me, very important. Um, so that's the Dow. The S&P has fractionally stopped underneath the all-time high of 52.61.10. The high today is 52.55. So at any point, you can get a sudden flurry of buying. But I think yesterday did it all. And right now, we need to see uh, what happens going into next week. Now, a lot of people are talking about uh, some kind of a a pullback, uh, you know, in the in the uh, areas that were the, the strongest for me. Microsoft has been a really good clue. Microsoft is trading down 86 cents at 420.54. It went to a peak. Do you remember the obligation in the Chapman Wave methodology is to get you from a buy signal to a buy mode to at least a peak D, and this is where it is, and that's kind of important. It's a, a leg C, probably a peak C today in the uh, weekly chart. That doesn't say you can't pull back, maybe even to the 380 level. It's at 420. I'm just giving you a, a scenario, that's all. What I am saying is mm -mm, that there was a little pattern that I call the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. Because it isn't very faithful to that, I'm just going to take it out and say, you know what, um, not really. It's more a consolidation with the falling acts with the high, lower highs and lower lows and turns around and makes a new high. So that's a peak C. I'm expecting at least a D to come. Now, there's a chance, and I spoke about this in my webinar uh, Tuesday a week ago, and I also spoke about it over here in the show saying there is a chance that because of the incredible strength of the weekly charts that we actually go to a D in the various indices before a major sell-off. So in between, we can have some pretty sharp, uh, scary sell-offs. But 4%, maybe 5 6%, but the, uh, bigger than 10 or 12%, I don't think may, is in the cards just yet. Maybe we have to wait. So let me go back to the S&P because this is a very important session we have today. The leg C that's formed in the weekly chart is just so strong. When you see a move, it almost looks like um, a fence on the way up a mountain. And obviously each, each low has a higher low and each higher has a higher high because you want the, the each each bar to be the same length. It doesn't have to be because it's, this is a, a chart. This is human nature. That this is the price movement of uh, the S and P in a weekly basis. But it says to me, with the stochastic at 92 percent in the weekly chart, the MACD very strong, the um, nine period way over the 14 and the four, nine is and the price is way over the nine. Oh, it's going to take at least a move into the 48, 40, uh, 49.10 area, 4,900, to see that green nine period moving average turn negative. So that's really positive, and it's already a leg D in the weekly chart. So maybe we do get a pullback next week, but maybe it's just mild, and then we get a D. But I, I don't want to foretell anything. What I do want to say is that we've got a potential double top, there is no peak, but I'm just going to anticipate that if there is a peak Monday or Tuesday, using this vertical line where we test to see, look at this, you test to see the unbalanced volume made a peak and came down. The, the stochastic is still, it's, it's lower than it was at that peak at 52.61.10, uh, seven sessions ago, uh, six sessions ago, and this one here hasn't made a peak yet. I'm just putting this in anticipation. Says 
that the MACD is good, not as good as it was. Stochastic is good, but not as good as it was. It's actually under 80%. On balance, the volume is much weaker. The relative strength over there, right here, this is the relative strength, is weaker than it was. So all of that says mm, you've got to be a little careful. But that nine pip, my indicator of last resort, says no, no, no. This is still holding very well. It's going to have to be bad news that the market really takes seriously and it just knocks the market down because yields are not that bad. Um, the dollar, oh, I haven't even got to the dollar yet. The dollar is rallying, but it's already in the previous high. When the T comes in under the previous high, I always say, oh, that's not good. I want to see you take out the previous high in leg C and then move much higher. And look, this is stalling. In fact, it's down off the lows. It's up five ticks at 104.34. So, with that said, um, I'll come back and we'll continue with this overview of what I'm looking at, why I'm looking at it, and what I'm expecting. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
So let me just go through this again. Leg D in the uh, dollar. The dollar weekly chart is just stuck in a trading range. It won't do anything until it gets to 100, if it can, 150.78, somewhere in that range. It says, aha, breaking out. Now you're making higher highs and higher lows. So far, you're making higher lows, not making higher highs. Uh, and so you break above the uh, level, this is the dollar index, the high of the week of the four, uh, 16th of Feb of 104.98. But it's it's not fading, it's just in that range. Just let me go through the uh, gold again. Gold is in leg D, uh, trying for leg D into the 2249 uh, area, and it's at 2228 right now. Um, it's, it's holding very well. Look how it's walking the nine period moving average. And the weekly chart is holding very nicely. So I'm not ignoring that. What I want you to say is that the GDX finally did get to its D yesterday, having a little higher high today, 32 up 32 cents at 31.29. And so far, there's nothing to suggest, although stochastics at 65%. On balance, the volume is good, not overbought. MACD is good. Relative strength is running nicely. Uh, price is nicely over the nine. The nine's over the 14. Weekly chart finally has broken that inside track repellent zone. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I want to, we were in a gold stock. We got stopped out of the gold stock. Very, very small loss. I was kind of upset about that. And it, was, it was underperforming. And then all of a sudden it started to perform. And that's just telling me if gold is going to move much higher, then this is very early in the game. I needed to see, uh, I want you to see how, uh, gold and silver did together. So silver today is up a little bit, 0 0.008, not very much, at 24.76. It's lagging badly. So if this is just a gold story, then you're kind of vulnerable to seeing some of the gold stocks move very nicely and others just not do anything, stall. So I wanted a little time. So in that regard, I, I like the action of gold very much. It's a kind of a mystery why just this one area is moving. Is it uh, geopolitical? Has it got to do with the Middle East? It usually does. I don't know if this is the case right now. But yes, gold is acting well. And it has finally, the GDX stuck its head above for the very first time in weeks and weeks and weeks above this downtrend line. There's a Chapman Wave inside track repellent line. And the technicals are starting to prove. And as we speak, the <coughs> nine period moving average <clears throat> We've still got to wait until 4 o'clock today, but the 9 period moving average has crossed L. That's the first time it's done that in a while. And that just says to me, all right, that's good. Now you can start to consider gold as if, if that's the case. And if we only pull back next week in the GDX gold miners to, I want to see the gold miners lead. And that's a very difficult goals at, in the all-time high area. But if, and the GLD, let me just show you this for a moment, GLD has just gone to a leg E, in the daily, E in the weekly, and only a C in the monthly. So this is all very positive action. So let me put to this EUR, USD, the Euro, Euro dollar currency pair, starting to fail a little bit here. It's on the 200 period moving average. The USD JPY, which is the yen, has gone to a leg D, maybe a peak D today, almost at the all time high. This, of course, shows weakness in the yen because it's so strong, um, but in relation to the dollar. Now, 151.60 was the uh, last high. That was the high back in 2023. But in 2022, it had a 151.94 high. Today's, uh, yesterday's high was 150. Wow, 151.97. How these things come within pennies after years sometimes. It just... I, I just find it, I, that's why we love the market. It's just such a, a fascinating creature. All right, so the the yen, if it starts to break to the upside and goes to 153.80 to 154.20 and closes there on a weekly basis, that's a significant breakout. So far, uh, was it, did I say it was a new high? No, it missed the high by three cents. So this is still a peak C. Technically, it's in a buy mode. But to really confirm that it's going to go to a D, it needs to uh, push over 151. Oh, no, it just has to go over 151.60. Yeah, this is good. That's a C. But to really uh, impart tremendous strength, it needs to go to 152s. That'll be very good. Meantime, the support is between 150 and 149. Uh, that's near-term support, major support. 
is in the 148s. So what I want to do, that's that, 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 that. This is go to high-grade copper, high-grade copper right now, stalling. It's a 3.99. <clears throat> Had a good rally, and now it's stalling. If you look at the monthly chart, eh, just stuck. If you look at the weekly chart, it's in a buy mode, making high highs and higher lows, but it keeps having long uh, and fairly sharp pullbacks after making the peak, and that's kind of what's happening here. Let me go back to the crude oil. Crude oil is holding very well. If crude oil is able to get into that 84 area next week, I think that's going to be something that the market respects and says, uh-oh, let's see what happens. So that takes us to the IYT, which is the transportation index. Um, just failed to make a new uh, all-time high, 71. I didn't put that in. I should type it in. Uh, 71.16 was 18, was the all-time high on the 8th of March. The last high was uh, 71.11. And that makes it either a peak C1, C2 in the weekly chart, but it really looks like it's got enough strength to pop even higher. And a leg D in the monthly. Look at the same thing. Unbelievable. It makes an all-time high back in May of 2021 at 70.60. And what it just, just hit, 71.18. And that's after what? That is after May of 2021. We are now in about to go into April of 2022. I, I mean, 2024. Is that not amazing? And it's already been down to the 47 area, and it's come back. The beautiful cup formation with the Chapman. Oh, this is a perfect Chapman wave. There's your, there's your, ah, uh, let's just talk about this for a moment. Here's your plumb line, and I love when this happens. The plumb line right there. That's the low. The low is the low itself. And I never even put this in. I, I thought I had it. I think I had to redo this at some point. And there's your Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Keep going above it, and it comes back down. And now it's gone above it, and it's holding above it. Oh, oh, isn't that interesting? So that is, um, that's a good sign for the economy. All right, talk about the economy. I needed to do this. I want you to look at the IWM because these are the small caps. Small caps have been lagging. Now they're breaking out. Leg B in the... Monthly chart, that makes this whole area of 200 to, to 195 major support. Major, major, major support. The weekly chart and the nine period moving average is positive. The MACD is rallying. It's not great, but it's rallying with a nice wide aperture. And stochastics at 81%. The weekly chart has just made a leg E. And the daily chart has made a new, I'm going to call this a G slash V, a very positive. So I want to talk about this subscriber. Why did we not grab the IWM much earlier on? Because this seems to be a breakout. I'll talk about that in a moment. Dow's are traveling. Dow's down 20 points. We'll be all right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role.
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So uh, two, two things came in. One was uh, uh, check out the weekly B wave in MRO. That's MRO is uh, Marathon Oil. Mm. It's up very nicely today. It's making, <coughs> there's an instant restart right there. So that's E sash A, F sash B, G sash C, which always almost always goes to the D. Went to the D, but now it's all set in E. Getting a little bit overboard short term, but look at this weekly chart. Yep, this is a new leg B to the upside. Monthly chart's looking good. Yeah, MRO. So, um, and then a question came in about Bitcoin. So I'll go to Bitcoin right now. I want to talk about the IWM. I'll talk about it in a moment. So Bitcoin <clears throat> is trading at 72,120. So far, Walking the nine period moving average, had an all time high of 74,415. That was a G says C. We haven't yet made a new high. But in the meantime, it is a, a doji leg F in the a peak F in the in the weekly chart. But I'm calling this a C in the monthly chart, which says it should go to a higher high. If it goes above 74,415 anytime in April, that extends the weekly chart to a G says C. Because this is an instant restart. I don't want to talk about this flat-based restart potential. but I'll talk about it. I'll have to do a little work on the weekend. But I, this is a leg C, and it'll extend leg C in the monthly chart. If it doesn't do that all of April, uh, then it started, it's making a peak C. But so far, all the technicals are very strong. Uh, now, let's go back. So the IWM I like very much because they, I believe there's going to be a rotation. Microsoft is telling me that the MAG-7, or whatever number it is, um, are starting to stall. And then there's a really good chance that if we have this digestive, that's, let's say, 4 5 6%, if there is a correction coming up, there's a chance that other areas take up the slack. And that's what I'm looking at. And I think the IWM will be in that category, like e in, the, uh, uh, in the weekly chart right now. It could even be an instant restart, right? That would be incredibly exciting. But I just needed to wait a little bit uh, because I, I, we stepped into something else. Let me show you something. The XLF, the financials, have been very strong. 41.70, this is a spider fund, select financials. 41.70 was the high in January of 2022. It plummets down to 29.59. And then it comes back to where? To where we are right now at 42.03 was the high today. 42.03, that is 33 cents of the all-time high over three years ago. So to January 22 to January 24, sorry, two years ago. I mean, that really is quite something, isn't it, in this cup formation? That said to me that if we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, if there is a digestive phase, because I consider it really important that you have the financials, the transports, and the Dow all close to making highs at the same time to confirm that the economy is doing well right at this time. That could change in another month. However, look at this. 
the KRE, which is the regional, this is the equivalent to the S the S P regional banking ETF KRE trading at fifty point seventeen up fifteen cents. That's the equivalent to the Russell two thousand because if you and and the XLF because if you look at I Y C I uh, sorry I sorry I W C that's the Russell, there we go. This is the Russell 1000. Sorry, this is the microcap ETF. Look how that's lagging, but now it's turned the corner. Monthly chart is in the leg B. The technicals are starting to improve. The um, weekly is in D. Look, yeah, it is peak D, and then it goes to now leg E. Could even be an instant restart. It's within three weeks, three bars, I should say. And you've got A. Is this now a B? Because after G, you can't get an H. So is this going to be a B at 121.00, a round number high right now, just above the 120.97 high that was made on the 8th of March? If that's the case, then there's a chance that um, you're seeing the smaller caps and now I want to also include the regionals because if you look at how oh, I see I, Y, B, I, oh man, I, Y, C, I, Y, oh, I, W, M, I, W, M, I, W, M, so it goes I, W, M, I, W, C, and I, W, B. There we go, finally got it right. I, W, B, breaking out to all time highs. Uh, this is the Russell 1000 ETF. So as I'm looking at this, I'm saying if we get a rotation, that whole relationship, let me go through this again. You've got leadership in the IW, IWB, that's the 1000. You've got IWC, IWC, that's the micro caps, not, not participating like in the same way, all-time high, these are at lows. And the IWM is starting to play catch-up. Will the catch-up uh, be a real hot dog? Will it really keep moving very nicely? And I'm suspecting yes. So that says to me, look at the XLF as leadership. Just off its uh, high that was made, all-time high. It's at 42.03. Did it do it today? I think it missed it so far by... Yeah, 42.04. So it's two cents off it, um, making it a new all-time high. And then the KRE. So my choice right now has been to go with the KRE. That's the regionals. And the IWM I will do in layers for subscribers. Because if you get the regional banks, which is just a completely different thing to the money center banks. This is mom and pop stores. Not really mom and pop. You're talking about big bucks. Even regionals can be very, uh, have a huge capitalization. But I'm just saying, if there's a laggard effect, also in the IWM, I'm looking at the very small cap oil stocks. I'm looking at the small cap bank stocks. So these are two areas in, this, in the coming two months that I think are going to be very important as tells on the general market for 2024. Um, so just to go back once again, because that was a question that came up again about the, uh, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is looking really good. I was anticipating that there'd be a bit of a pullback here, maybe an arch formation to make a dreaded H, only if there isn't a new recovery high above this leg B. And this B could extend. But right now, if I said that if it goes to 72,300, 72, uh, there's a real good chance it's going to test and maybe break the 74,450 level, it's it's doing really well. Question came in about IWO, IWO, and IWO is, oh, this is the iShares Russell 2000, okay. So that's, oh, 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 IWO, let me write that down. I always forget, I always do the notation and then I forget what it is. This is the RUT 1000. It's also 1000, right? Oh, this is the 2000, there we go. So that's the 2000. And it looks like the IWM. I don't know why they have these two different. Wait, what's different? I Russell 2000. I don't know. One might have four. 
I don't know. All I know is that it's acting well and it's gone through its beauty in the week. Uh, yeah, both of them are starting to improve a lot. Good. I'll be back in a moment. That's the chapter. Dow's down, down six. SBs up five. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Just a quick question about Geo Group. Uh, yes, it's acting very well. <clears throat> it's trading at 1425. Um, it did an instant restart. This goes to GCSC in the weekly. It's got an egg D in the monthly chart. Uh, financial services, services, uh, I think uh, immigration processing centers. Yeah, this is doing nicely. It's got key support in the 1360s to 1320 area. Uh, yeah, good. I wanted to do this real quickly um, because my um, DBA, uh, this is the DBA Agricultural Fund, has done so well. Look, uh, wheat is not doing all that great. Soybean is not doing that great. Uh, it's doing okay, but not great. Uh, corn is not doing great, but wait a minute. Look at CC, and I think this is getting real close to at least a short-term top. This is at trading at 9,772 down 71. This is Cocoa Continuous Contract. Um, it's getting ready for some kind of a, a, a little bit of a, a digestive phase. Let's say it's at a peak D. It looks exactly like this DBA. I wonder why the DBA was doing so fantastically when the grains were not. So with that said, what I want to say most important is that when you get a big sell signal, You've got to have the futures down huge and the, the Dow and the, and the uh, NDX down huge. 
uh, early in the morning, and then there's a rally that's attempted, and it closes at the low of the day, and the next day, overnight, it's terrible, and then it tries to rally. And it, we don't have that. We haven't had that for a long time. So until we get that, I don't see a major, major sell-off. I do see consolidation taking place, and it'll be just a consolidation if you get the rotation that I'm anticipating, and rotation is really important. So with that said, I'm going to say I'm handing you over to Steve Rhodes. Should be great programming today, of course. And have a wonderful uh, Good Friday and a long weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Isn't that nice? I actually finished right on time. Didn't speak right through the music. And I'm just going to hand you over to Steve. And uh, we'll see where the market closes. I gave you the parameters. I think we're getting close to at least a rotational correction. It says we could see some areas hold and some areas weak. I didn't get the SMHs. SMHs are... Uh, 